Ladies and gentlemen, Abdullah here once again. Happy holiday everyone. I would like to say something about Christmas here in this video. As you probably know, the scriptures say that a Virgin Mary miraculously gave birth of Jesus and that's widely known as Christmas. But mystically, this is the experience of every human being. Neville said, Coming out from the awareness of being God the Father, you came into the world, becoming aware of being man. You are predestined to return to the awareness of being God the Father once more. This is the story of man. Christmas marks the birth of man as God. You are mostly aware of being man and when you become aware of the truth that God is your truest existence, then you are experiencing Christmas. You may become aware of this truth when you see something manifested consciously or when you go through hard times. Neville said, Christmas is revealed as the true birth of every manifestation in the world. When something you manifested consciously, you just realize it is a gift from God. That way, you become aware of God. You may also be aware of God consciousness when you go through hard times. How? Being in difficult states, the first thing you get aware of is going back to the source and that source is God. So Neville said, God comes into the world by assuming human form. While here he goes through literal hell, he is restored to life to continue the journey until he finds the event which leads him to his home and Christmas. Life is a journey being a human. While you go through hard times, which is like going through hell here according to Neville, you experience the event that leads you to God because you are aware of God consciousness when you experience difficulties. Now let me add some Rumi's viewpoints regarding Christmas which is not so different from what Neville said. First off, Rumi said, This body is like a Mary and each of us has a Jesus in it. Mary, according to Rumi, is like the corporeal body and each of us has a Jesus within us. When we experience the pain which is the hardship of Mary in scripture, our Jesus is born. And Jesus is what? Your infinite imagination which is God in action or which is consciousness is in action. So Christmas here is when you are just aware of your own wonderful God while experiencing hardship. Rumi said, your heart becomes merry, miraculously pregnant, and body like a two-day-old Jesus, says wisdom words. The birth of Jesus in you or the birth of your imagination after the miraculous pregnancy followed by the hardship of Mary is Christmas. This just makes you aware of being God because Jesus or your imagination is God in action or consciousness in action. Rumi also said, the Jesus of your spirit is within you. Ask his aid, for he is a good helper. Your imagination is you yourself. It is your existence, the true existence. William Blake regarding that said, Imagination is not a state. It is the human existence himself. The true existence of human is his imagination, which is Jesus here. Jesus is God in action, so you can experience Christmas anytime you are aware of God or aware of being God. I'll conclude with one final Neville's quote here. Even to those who fail to understand the true meaning of Christmas, the story of Christmas is one of the most beautiful stories ever told. The story of Christmas is so beautiful because it is the story of all the manifestations. Even though this day is celebrated on a particular date worldwide, this day could still be a reminder of becoming aware of being our true self, that is God. If God is always acting within us in every part of our lives, then we are practicing God's law. So the only resolution of Christmas Day is simply becoming aware of the law. Merry Christmas everyone, I'll leave my presentation with one final question. Are you truly aware of the law?